Today we're busting 100 prison escape myths. As you can see, we're in our own prison cell, if you will. Because in 1962, this actually happened. Prisoners escaped from a jail. It was called Alcatraz, it was on this barren island. Somehow they got out. How? We're gonna find out today. Theory one is they just squeezed through the bars. <laughs> That was shocking, Daniel. Yeah, I'll say. You think you can squeeze through these bars? I mean, I'm a pretty tiny person. Probably. This first method here is the most basicest method of how to escape a prison. I think I'm gonna try and squeeze through this. We replicated a real prison cell because in real prisons, the jail cell bars are six inches apart. Sometimes smaller, sometimes five. Is it possible for a human to fit if they're small enough like the quaintster? Guys, comment down below if you think I can fit through this right now. And if you think this is how the prisoners escaped in real life. Let's try this. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> does your head fit? It does! Maybe. Oh! Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> oh, oh! You can actually fit! <laughs> what the heck? Escape! <laughs> Wait, really? If I'm in prison, good luck keeping me in because I'm out of here. Well, let me see if I can fit. How did you do this? My head doesn't even fit. Really? <laughs> ah! Ah! My ears! Ah! Ow! Okay. You look like a dog. <gasps> you look oh! No. Oh! Run. Uh, obviously, we made this test prison on our trampoline. Y'all can do this at home, too. Let me try to fit. You've been not, eating too many sandwiches. They're not called sandwiches. Be respectful of the foot long. Ah. See, these bars are bending a little bit. That helps me, but in a real jail cell, they're not gonna bend. If I can't even do this when they're bending, how do real prisoners escape through the bars? Daniel, uh, since you can't even get out, I think this myth is busted! busted. It's busted, Buster. In the real prison cells, I feel like they have bars across, so I don't even think you could fit if that was the case. Yeah, that's true, I probably can't. It's like the number one thing people think of when they're in prison. Can I escape to the bars? Of course the police are gonna address that. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Well, let's test out this myth. Apparently, in jail, you can only have a couple things. You know, toothpaste, toothbrush, floss. People say that you can actually, over time, use your floss to slowly cut away at those prison bars. You think that's true? That ain't floss, Daniel. Well, uh, same thing. The concept is, slowly over time, you can like erode things. Yeah. Like, look at the freaking mountains that are in Las Vegas. That was years and years and years yeah. of erosion by just water. Water's soft. Wow. Over time, you can erode at anything, even the sh hardest stuff like a jail cell. You know, if you're stuck in prison for life, might as well just try this method. It works! Oh. Just kidding. Like, I guarantee you, it looks like this is stupid, right? But on a microscopic level, I am taking away a little bit of the paint on this thing. And then over time, 2,000 years later. <sighs> Who am I kidding? This myth is stupid as heck. <laughs> You know what, Daniel and the Alcatraz escape? What they did is they chip away at the vents in their jail cell. And they keep chipping at it, make it a little bit wider and bigger. They crawl up there and they escape. That's a true story, guys. I think there's a movie that's based out of it. Uh, out, what? There's a movie based on it. I think it's called The Rock by Sean Connery. Oh. Yeah, he's a handsome grandpa. Hey, well, who's handsomer, Chad or that grandpa? Uh, absolutely, Chad. Do you question Chad's handsomeness? <laughs> no. <laughs> Me neither. A plus. <laughs> okay, Daniel, I got a vent set up already. Let's see if we can bust this myth. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. So just pretend we're still in our jail cell and this is where the air conditioner blows that fresh air. Obviously, in a jail cell, they make these super, super tight. This is the tightest tunnel we ever created at the safe house. Like, I don't know if we can actually fit in this. Even you, V. I know you tiny and all, but... Take a look at that. You should never doubt my tininess. I'm, I'm kind of like half a person, you know? I'm half of a normal size. I don't say that about yourself. No. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm showing lots of Yeah, you're... <laughs> maybe that's one of the ways to get out of prison. Flirt with the prison guard. Yeah, maybe that's the technique. So I'm gonna distract the prison guard. Oh my god! While you go through the vent. Yeah. But like, it gets really, really tight in there, but you might get stuck. Good thing I'm not Chad and all claustrophobic. 
M maybe. I feel like anybody would be claustrophobic in this thing. That's true. It's pretty dark and tiny. This is a true story, okay? This actually happened. So if criminals can do it, you can do it. I ain't no criminal. Well, well. Just a smooth one. <laughs> 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 What do you think, V? Can you do it? I can fit, but I think it's really hard because I can't sit up and I can't use my elbows to crawl. Oh my gosh. Look how tiny that it is. That is really... Like a short. You, you might know? get stuck. I think I might. Uh, I'm gonna be stuck in prison, man. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if you're gonna make this, Daniel. If you're crawling through the vents, you never know what you're gonna find. Something might be caught in the air conditioner. Watch out, me! <laughs> what is that? Oh my god! Am I in a sewer system? <laughs> Air conditioner debris. There could be spiders in here. There could be dust bunnies. Oh no. <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna see and see if we can crawl through all these. Oh my gosh. You're making it. Oh my gosh. I'm dying, I'm eating. <laughs> oh my gosh, you made it. But you don't want to escape jail if you don't have your partner with you. We were best friends on the inside. You really want to live in the beautiful world if I'm not there? Um, I have to escape through the vent too. I, I, I suppose. <laughs> you don't want me in your life? No, I do, I do. I've just promised that you do have a shirt underneath this. But I'll, I'll explain that later. Okay, V, I'm coming to join you in the real world. Let's see if we can even start it. <sighs> oh my gosh, this is really tight. Yeah, it's really tight. You did it like a no problem. This gum is adding a few calories. I gotta be extra skinny. You gotta be quiet so the guards don't hear. <laughs> oh my gosh, stinks in here. It does not stink in there, Daniel. You let out a fart of victory. I think I'm stuck. My butt's stuck. Oh! <laughs> There's already enough debris in here. Oh, my my prison outfit's coming undone. Oh, no. Daniel, this is a family-friendly YouTube channel. Everybody's got pectorals. Ah! Uh, okay. You almost there? It's getting tighter. Oh, the juices of all these Orbeez. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> it's it's kind of slippery, I can't. <laughs> you can't get through? Are you completely stuck? My feet, I, I can't really push anymore. <laughs> you Arby's are going to my shirt. Oh, I'll come help you, partner. Come on, we gotta get out of here. I wanna see what the clouds look like. Oh, man. I heard their shape oh. as different things sometimes. Oh. Elephants. Oh, my goodness. Arnold Schwarzenegger. What? Arnold? Oh, uh, get down. Get down. Come on, Danny. I wanna Danny. see who the president of the United States is. Oh. I wanna see if McDonald's oh. still serves bacon <laughs> yeah oh you're strong i'm small but mighty dang <laughs> all right so we escaped the vent yeah so that's actually real it's a true story that the prisoners of alcatraz escaped through the vents and we just did a little simulation of that it's true but we're not out yet what do we do well the guards probably are looking in our cell right now and realize that we're gone yeah so they're, they're searching the perimeter of the jail and that's why prisoners wear orange because it's so easy to see we could be spotted right now this was a real jail situation we got to get into normal clothes that yeah. blend in more yeah civilian clothes so to address your question that you asked earlier yeah the answer is no we got to get in a different attire I'm not sure if the viewers should see this. Let them see, V. The real world is crazy out there. We're showing them everything. I don't know if the viewers should see this. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. My eyes are averted, you guys. We gotta put on some different shirts, some different pants. Blue, that's the opposite of orange, actually, on the color wheel. That blends in with the sky. All right, put on these pants. Yeah, thank you. Just let me know when you're done so I can... Whoops! <laughs> put that back in. You can use your eyeballs now. Okay. Oh, gosh. It's your turn, V. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, I'm a married woman, okay? You, you were hitting on that grandpa earlier. No, I, I was not. He's an actor. You can admire someone from afar, okay? But Criminal V. V, change into normal people clothes. Perfect, V.
Oh, getting the booty shot? No, I was zipping up. Oh, <laughs> thought you were like, hi. No, I was zipping. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay, we're on the outside of our prison cell, but we're still on prison grounds. Usually, prison grounds are surrounded by like a fence or a wall, or in the Alcatraz case, water. Water. Just so you guys know, we are doing this because our friend Melvin gave us information that tomorrow is gonna be the hugest prison escape ever. Yeah, he's actually was in jail. Now he's out of it. Yeah, he was friends with the prisoners on the inside and they said May 15th. Over 300 prisoners are gonna escape. We don't know how, but that's why we're doing this today. We're gonna figure it out and we're gonna stop this because one of the prisoners on the inside, his name is Agent Peters. He's a bully. He's gonna ruin our lives if he gets out. So we have to figure out how to stop them. All right, let's just pretend that we're not on Alcatraz right now and just at a regular prison. Like the Las Vegas one. They probably have fences. Yeah, so we gotta escape that now. <sighs> Too afraid of heights. Yes. I'm pretty scared. <laughs> 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 it looks really unstable. Yeah, kind of. You test it out and we'll see. Are you sure you don't want to test it out? No. Okay, you seem less afraid on the scissor lift. No, are you kidding me? Maybe. Well, you are smaller, so if you fall, less impact. Chop punch gouge to see who goes first. Uh, okay, that's, that's fair. Chop, Chop punch, punch gouge. gouge. Go. Oh. No! <laughs> yeah! Okay, B. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Wait a minute. What? An Alcatraz? Was there a bean bags on the other side of the wall? Most definitely. <laughs> all right, V, be careful. Okay. You don't want to go all the way up and then the ladder goes Wee! and you go into the neighbor's jail. What are you going to do? Are you going to help? I'm a content creator. I'll film the whole thing. Okay. Get that content. <laughs> okay. This is fine. Okay. Let's do it! This is really high up! The hard part is like once you get to the top, you gotta like spin around and then jump down. Don't miss the bean bags. Guys, just make sure to not break any laws because uh, this is some dangerous stuff. You're yeah. probably not gonna be able to uh, escape prison. You yeah, don't try us at home. Now I'm getting a little nervous. <laughs> Knees, weak, palms are heavy. What? Go, V, go! Chad, if I don't make it out of prison, love you and um I'm next <laughs> will you give me your blessing for Chad to move on to me no, no. Well, then you better not go belly up <laughs> oh look how high she is holy crap this is really high come on V before the guards see us uh, there you go yeah dig those shoes into the holes yeah I'm doing it yes okay I can do it now Go easy, does it? You're almost over the wall. Oh my gosh. I did it. Yeah! Oh you gosh. did it! You escaped! Well, not yet. There's still one more hurdle you have to face, but good job! Thanks! You're gonna have to do this too. I feel like this isn't scary, but I know it's gonna be different when I get up there. Alright, let's go. So far, I'm not scared. Alright, okay. It's happening a little bit. I'm fine. Get the slow-mo ready in case I fall. You want to see my uh, head hit the concrete in slow-mo. Oh, don't say that! <laughs> I want you to survive! Oh my gosh, the wind's really blowing! I can feel it shaking once I'm up there. All right. You're doing good, Daniel. Oh gosh, this is, this is the hard part! Gosh, what do I do? I think I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now what? <laughs> you use my right hand and I push the ladder away so he get a good grip on it. Hey, you're so good at this. Why am I so scared? I'm definitely afraid of heights. You're doing good, Daniel. You got it. Uh. You got it. Uh, I'm caught. You're caught. I got the beat bag. Uh. <laughs> Dang, that was definitely the toughest run so far. I feel like Agent Peters, our enemy who's in jail right now, he's gonna escape using this method. He's gonna hop over. Yeah, we gotta make sure there's no bean bags on the other side. Yes, so when he drops, 
<laughs> big boo boo. <laughs> he gets a big boo boo and says, oh man, I better go back into jail. Daniel, we're not done yet. We're not escaped. We're just made it over the fence. There's a lot more to go. Uh -oh. Remember, we are on an island. During the Alcatraz escape, they didn't jump over any walls to get out of the prison. They had to swim over two miles in the water surrounding the prison. The way that they were able to swim is they used ponchos. They used 50 ponchos and stacked them on top of each other to create like a, 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 a raft. And they got to blow into it to put air so it floats. So we don't have 50 ponchos. We only got two. That's why. We're gonna use an alien. That counts as like 48 ponchos, right? I can't swim, you guys. I don't know if you know, if you're new here, I'm V Quaint. I'm a spiny ninja and I can't swim. True. I'm deathly afraid of water. So Daniel, I'm really gonna need your help here. I helped you through the vent. I helped you over the fence. I'm gonna really need your help here, Daniel. Okay, because you know what, you're my cellmate for 50 years. If we're gonna get out of here, we're gonna get out of here together. Okay, V, I'm not gonna let you drown. There's 48 ponchos, 49. Oh, you look so cute, you look so good. Oh my gosh, Daniel, this is the deep end. <laughs> no, seriously, I, I'm so nervous now. I'm not gonna let you drown. No, please. Just hold on real tight. Look, he's inflated, we're gonna be fine. Hold on to me too. <laughs> I can't move. All right, ready? Uh. I'm gonna see if you survive first. Okay, here I go. Uh. Oh, it works, V. Really? It works. Come closer, please. Coming. Just grab onto his big old head. Go, go. <laughs> oh. Ah! Oh. Just trust in the alien. You're not, just hold on to him. You're not gonna go anywhere. You good? Oh. Ah! Hold it together. We gotta make it to the other side before the guards spot us. Oh, Extend. And you and paddle with your feet. You gotta go to the middle of the pool. Ah! Ah! Are you still holding on? Your foot. We're not making any progress. If your foot's there. Ah! Are we making any progress? Ah! You're kicking that way. I'm kicking that way. We're gonna go nowhere. Go me. Ah! Get that way. <laughs> My legs are tired. Here we go. We're making progress. We're gonna be free! Yeah! I'm so proud of you, V! Oh! Oh! V! Can I stand up here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can stand in now. You did it! V! Okay. You did it! You did it! Oh my gosh, we're a good teammate. We help each other, our strengths uh -huh. work well together. Yeah, I can help you with the water. Yeah. You can help me with heights and small places. Yeah. I feel like the mystery of Alcatraz, <laughs> where they swam across the water yeah. with the ponchos making a wrap. I feel like that's plausible. Plausible. Myth is not busted. It could happen. However, they never found the dude. They didn't find the people. Did they drown? <laughs> oh, did they, they didn't find any uh, bodies in the water. But they also have never heard of these people since. Did they escape? Nobody knows. There's no sightings of them anywhere. So, yeah. comment down below. What do you guys think happened to the prisoners? What do you guys think, Agent Peters? That bully. How's he escaping prison tomorrow? We really think he is planning to escape the prison. So we need your help to figure out how he's going to do it. Because we're going to go to the police station tomorrow. We're going to prevent him from escaping. Because if he escapes, guys, this could change everything. Daniel, my prison of choice is definitely Las Vegas because it's dry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. But we did it, V. We did it, Daniel. We escaped. Yes. Let's do a kick bump to celebrate our freedom. Freedom. Bye, ninjas. Kick, kick bump. bump!